no matter where you go in Utah. 2020 has been full of the unexpected. Things happen differently than they normally would. That much has been clear to Cindy Carter from the beginning. And it could go either way. So why should her run for the Morgan County District 3 office be any different? How did I think it was going to go? I don't, it's hard to say. You obviously go into it wanting to win. No contact campaigning was interesting enough for Jared Anderson. Par for the course. But it was nothing compared to the six vote difference on election night. I knew immediately it was going to be close. But not this close. The Morgan County Clerk's Office says each candidate received 541 votes. There's a part of me that appreciates that. What are the odds? So what do you do when a primary election for a county office ends in a tie? Well, you leave it up to chance. Or in the words of the Utah Code, the nominee will be chosen by lot cast. I think that's par for 2020. The method is in the hands of judges in Utah's second judicial district. He can have a straw straws. He can draw a name out of a hat. I don't know how long Cindy's thumbs are, but I'm a pretty good thumb wrestler. Whatever it comes down to Thursday night and whoever fills the seat, each candidate has already decided there is no losing in this. We just come to the conclusion that the residents wanted us equally. It's just the way it's supposed to be. That's that's the way you have to look at it. But you can bet, even in a year as unexpected as this, they'll each come prepared. Well, there's a piece of clothing that I'm going to wear, and we're just going to leave it at that. How's that? <laughs> With a bit of luck. Well, I would like to think that I am the lucky weapon. In Morgan, Matt Rascone. But I will let you know after 5.30 if that holds true or not. KSL 5 News.